Welcome to the QBD 1200 virtual demo, where we'll set up a measurement and take a look at the results. From the home screen, go to Perform Measurement, then create a new sample tray. Choose the number of samples. In this case, we'll choose eight. Then choose the number of reps. You can see as you change this, it changes the icon representing the number of reps per sample. Next, let's assign some IDs to those samples. Here we'll use the label builder. It's easy to drop and drag these boxes into position. And you can see at the bottom of the screen, it gives you an example of what those labels will look like. Now we're ready to start the measurement. If you look at the status bar where there's green filling up that line, underneath it, it tells you exactly what's happening at every step of the measurement process. Here, rinsing reagent, loading reagent, and so forth. This provides you reassurance you know that the process is working correctly. We're in fast forward mode. You can notice that if you look at the, the time elapsed. And we'll go up to the very first replicate measurement of this first sample. You'll see that then the shape on the first sample turns green. Now if we go ahead even faster to the fourth sample, you can know that if you touch the screen position for prior samples, it will then show you the measurement result for each of those samples. One of the nice features of the QBD 1200 is that this sample tray is editable even after a run starts. So here we're removing samples in positions 6, 7, and 8, and then we're going to add a sample in position number 9. This can be really helpful if you have a hot sample that just came in from your facility and you want to run it. Notice that as we add a sample to position number 9, we're going to actually put in there a different number of replicates. In this case, we'll put in 4, and you'll see that in sample position 9, that the little icon, instead of having 3 pieces of pie, will have 4 pieces of pie. Now once we've done that, if we touch a position, in this case that's position 3, for a previous sample it shows us the results. We can also toggle to a screen that shows all of the results in table view. We can expand the curves for any particular sample and look in detail at their runs. And this is a really nice feature to look at both the tick and the top curves. When the measurement run is complete, we can review any of the results right there on the screen. You can also touch the sample positions and look at the curves and the statistics. Expand the curves like I showed you before. And then go ahead and create a report. The report wizard in our program allows us to report samples on the screen for a quick viewing, as is shown right now. Or you can go back and review your other options, including sending your report over USB to a stick or over Ethernet on your network. This concludes the virtual demo.